already found it? What's the hurry? Quite the fine.
What's the hurry?
Ad Astra Ab Thank you for completing today's Okay. Ad Astra Abyss. Do the smaller chores now, like the laundry. Jeremy's supposed to clean up the laundry out of the bathroom for you. Go ahead and do that in the dishwasher, and then we can pick up everything late. Like, we'll do the main stuff later, okay, when I'm done here. Laundry and dishwasher, then you can play game. Okay, and then just do the laundry. Tell Jeremy to go get the laundry out of the bathroom for you. No, can he do it like, 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 he can't do it because it's like the thing's like ready, not even up to, it's like really filled. Oh, you want him to wait? Yeah, because it's like, like a little, if you, you know what I mean. It's like, it's like. Well, like tell him thing. to get ready though. It's get the easy stuff done. Oh God, excuse me. I don't know. It's not out for delivery just yet. go put my contacts in real quick.
Hi, Jax. Let's see. goes like do the little stuff and we can do the main stuff here in a little bit um what do we want to do you're also here for monstats one aren't you I guess we can do some of these. Oh wait, that's way up there. I'm not even over here. Now we might have to wait because I'm not even. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Xiangling. Let the map. Till twenty six. It's an old box. It's been in here for a while. A moment, please. Stay cool and face your gift. Let's begin. Who are you back up, huh? Fine by me. Oh shit, I didn't realize he was a... Uh... Oh, you are gone. Have a safe trip. A moment, please. Oh, you are gone. Ah, shit. I'm 
almost got it. She's kind of like... <laughs> Gotta sneeze. <laughs> uh, excuse me. That's all I had to do for that? Let the magic begin! I can't do that one yet. Can't do his yet. Look, everything's ready! Let's go! Clear floor. Oh, I don't know about that one. Uh, hello! Nice to meet you! My name. Oh, it's water spots. It's just water spots. Mm. I think I need one of these. Um, how full is the trash can? Uh, sure, before we like, just replaced it yesterday. No, 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 no. Outside. Oh, not that full. Not that full? Then you can it's put it in there? Way. Okay, then you can put because we shouldn't have too much more trash um, come Monday, for Monday. And I don't have any of those. buy one of these. person today. Mom, do you want the boo sign to go out too? Mom, do you need the boo sign to go out? No, that shouldn't even be near the trash. Oh, okay. The go lay it on my with my uh, Halloween uh, stuff. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I really don't know what to do right now. I just need to level up. Can't do anything till I level up.
Alright, the tables and stuff, like, see what you can put away. I can turn this up a little. Oh my god, we actually Oh my god, what the heck? Ah. Probably the closest. This close.
sweet. Back and forth, back and forth. <clears throat> There's the wills. Answer from this world? Get him. That's more like it.
What did I go? What did I touch?
ready. <clears throat> All right. Go. Uh, I did not want to do that. the hurry. There's no end to this. Direct assault! Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. 
Oh, so sorry. Uh, no escape! You're getting on my nerves! Come on! We can do it! You're open! Cool it! Becomes the hunted. Come check it out now because from yesterday. It's different? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'll keep this close. What would you like for breakfast?
then. here. Should go in here and do this. Get the adventure XP. <laughs> top doing. Okay, recommended party. Oh, I'm only at 40. to find a different one. Uh, I'm only at 40. I don't think I can assign anybody. Uh,
Talk to her again. <clears throat> Where is she? Oh no, it's over. I was going to say. Wait, no, it's this one. Now, where is she? Oh, she's here. I want to do a few couple, a couple of these. Get the adventure XP up. Bring it back up. Any day now. 
wonder why it crashed. <clears throat> it was a little laggy yesterday and partially this morning. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully we don't crash. Like, I just want the XP. Who can I, who do I have? I don't have any other fire person, of course. Sure. I'll just use my main characters for now. I just want a different fire person. Give me somebody with pyro that has a sword. That's all I want. Did I 
get rid of the other big guy? Go! No one escapes my sight! Bet you can your luck. Start a new quest. Oh, I get her. Right? Already had her. No, I got her. so much. Guess we can do some of those. Oh, those are the commissions. Wait until the following day. <laughs> So I need to change my name. Oh. 
I do need to go back. Here. the next day. So sure. Didn't say what time. I'm going to go grab me something to eat real quick.
Alrighty. Welcome, friend of child. And congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career with the Fatui. You sound remarkably sure of yourself. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Only the Tsaritsa truly has a will as solid as the permafrost. But back to the matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. What agreement? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate. Right and the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Ah, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. Oh, oh, Paimon knows this one! Ahem. There are two styles of cooking in Liyue, known as Li style and Yue style. They have been competing for centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. The flagship restaurant of the Li style is the Liu Li Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyuan Slope so they could compete face to face with the Xinyue Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yue style. Don't talk to Paimon like that! Anyway, Paimon's hungry! Let's get moving! Okie dokie. you made it. As promised, I have found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery of why the Liu at Qixing would hide the Jiu Archon's vessel. So where is he? In Liu Li Pavilion? He certainly is. 
Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liu custom. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhong Li, consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. Indeed, Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. Walk in the shadows? It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Discretion? Shadows? <sighs> Is Wangshan some kind of business involving... dealing with people? Indeed. It is as you have guessed. <sighs> the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. Huh? <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Well, they are still... Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because... Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Xuan Ning Guang. But first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueun Karst. As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. Yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet! Deicide or not, the concern of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? A wise decision. The Tianchuan Ning Guang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak <laughs> of the details as we walk. All right, my bridge-building work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks. And get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. Excuse me. 
get out of this place. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Uh, I don't know, I'm sure. Indeed. The weight of 3,700 years worth of history runs deepest in the true divinity of Liyue. Organizing the rite of parting, should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Liyue is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Ming Wang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. Huh. What would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus <clears throat> Jade worthy of a deity. How far? Here? Oh, okay. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no, we're here for... Um... What was it again? Noctilucus Jade, of Radiant Grade at the very least. Radiant grade, Dr. Lucas Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss! That one didn't count! We need to discuss it again! Hey! If we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? Oh. 
Mora. Hmm. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. Uh, what? All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. What? Is this how the rich live? Well, he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctiluca's Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Noctiluca's Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame, or that your heat control was poor. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated! But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade, and a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger. The patterns, the facade, these are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness, and so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. Noctilucus Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Paimon's just said that we might never be able to use it again. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? That would... well... fine. As you wish, then. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry, I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right, take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker! No, even a bug's wings are thicker! These are almost see-through! We were leaving, and what time you're done? Go. Bye. Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more, and you may as well have my neck. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro Jeremy. to reinforce it from within. This way the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for no. samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a 
place to try this out. You mean at one mean restaurant? Uh, as long as we do it when she's not in. That would not do. It is a place where people come and go. They would be endangered if the elemental reaction were to get out of control. We cannot take such a risk. Oh, Paima remembers! We once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the camp of the Hilly Trolls from the Meaty Tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move! Wait, way over here? It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than... That's the pot! <sighs> it looks like the hilly trolls are still using it! It's a bit impolite, but we gotta cut the line! No one escapes my 
my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Exactly! That's the one Paimon remembers too! No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done! All the same, and uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus Jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. Well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis 
Krampus will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest merchants such as yourself, I for one believe that Liu Er will continue to prosper as it always has done. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute! He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying! Oh, right, I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Uh -huh. Any what? Mora, my apologies. Another oversight on my part. That won't do. This isn't some small sum. Oh, wait! Didn't Child give us some advanced funds earlier? That's a relief. Have a look, boss. Is it enough? It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though, to be honest, it'd be alright even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Yujing Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. <laughs> I will do my best. You have my thanks. Higher? We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this why we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location, and have begun making preparations for the rite. That's right. The Liu Echising have acquiesced to using the same location. Here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although, with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. I wonder what that's about. Also, the uh, Rex Lapis vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, right! That's what it was called! You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away?
away by the chasing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help will probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow! Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liu, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant, and is especially suited for solemn events, like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again! <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? The best kind? Remind Paima what kinds there are again. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden Housemaiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here, and these stamens, 
glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow! A true connoisseur! Most of that was news even to me! I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower down. purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the Seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled, a question. <clears throat> do you have any mora <laughs> on you? You forgot to bring money again? <sighs> Zhong Li? Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud, but I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, They'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. Dude, get I out. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. <laughs> Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice-smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good 
candidates at the Adventurers Guild. <gasps> Let's ask them. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxin flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lon's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no. They were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lon. See you around. Hello, how may I help? We've come to ask you a question. Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally, we're getting somewhere! Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? Excuse what me. can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition? Is that it? Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, your story just doesn't hold water. Xiong Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, 
O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant, but you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. That's a little creepy. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Where is that, Mondstadt? We're only making some perfume. There's no need to go to such ridiculous lengths. Somewhere closer to home will do. Let's go for the kitchen at Wan Min Restaurant. Ha! Adventurer! I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud, as my assistant. That is obviously. not what you said. While I'm That's setting not what up, you, said. you can go and fetch some water. Water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to, to keep like your that. wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to Where's water. There's an induendo in there. <laughs> now, take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. This is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. 
a testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Uh, Hyma wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> come and hang out with no, me no, at Scent no. of Spring sometime, okay? okay. We, we are good. Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven! <laughs> All right, I need to use the restroom real quick and then we'll go do that. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less! <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Mm -hmm. Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken Nico, on countless down. forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the Chi-Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? I think I have things to turn in. Oops, more ship statue. Offer all of them. <laughs> Need to redo my hair. Rebleach it. She's up, isn't she? Things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. What happened to them? Excuse me. Back in my day, 
People said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. Oh, jeez. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lilith? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. Back when I was young, he saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. Wait, How does that work? <gasps> hey, that's rude! And even if it was like that, it must be a very expensive bell, right, Granny? <laughs> oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot and... You are quite welcome to borrow it, if you can find it. Okay. Youngsters, this is where this old oh. woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa, that sounds like Granny's voice. Wait, what am I So, this is her teapot? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. Cool it. 
Not what I Yes. 
I'm stuck. Really? Uh, no one escapes my sight. Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me... All right, that'll do. Come on out now, children. Totally cut her talking off. out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh. I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. 
As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ugh. Hyman kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's no. weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leoa Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes! That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Kites? Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite this is flying? Like a long is this our quest. break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Another thing I have to oh, buy. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Alright, off to buy. <laughs> ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. 
It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhongli from the Longsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Uh... He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, I still don't believe that's this for sure. Voice I, was with this I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. <laughs> Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> The compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... I'll be well, paying. Well, allow me. Oh, no? I'm not paying this time? Hey, it's child! <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money, and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. It's because he doesn't spend his money. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. <laughs> I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Alright. Uh, three workers. Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? 
Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Eh, never mind. I'll only charge 15, you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. I'll give you five. Oops, too far down. Wait, can I just enter? Oops. That won't do, I'm afraid. It's too little. Too little, I say. Let's see. Is no. Moose dropping? Go higher, or I'm not doing. I I'm not going more than ten. Five geo crystal flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. Day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. Twenty-five thousand per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. No. <laughs> Just because I know it probably won't be 10,000. We'll do the 15. That's too little. Hardly a fair price. That's too little. Hardly a fair. Bullshit. Oops. Well, then we'll do in twenty, and that's it. This price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. So they only take like 5,000 less. There's this last one. It's on the other side. Oh, help? Sure. I tick. Always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more for a single trip. How does that sound? 
done. Let me think. Deal. This price is reasonable. I'll hop right to it. Finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know <laughs> when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Does Lay down, that Nico. mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. No. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? Did, did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out, and Paimon will bring up the rear. We'll try that for now. Huh. <sighs> So many medicines, but no cure for heartache. <laughs> one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's... a zombie! <laughs> Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Something 
Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhum, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out! Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptive beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. Uh, okay. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? <sighs> um, okay, so oh, I don't have anything near there. All right. Off. Here we go.
I told her to give me a second, I'm just trying to finish this quest real quick, but those are for you. You, while you wait. Did he die? I don't want to go back down there. I won't let you down! from this world? Uh, where do I need to 
go here. Don't ask me, I picked the wrong one the last time for the... I picked, I think I picked Buccaneers and they lost. It's huge! You pick who you think's going. I can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Jean-Li, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! <laughs> hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Where is that supply post? Here, post... Like a unwrapping a gift. Go, go, Baron Bunny. Hey, get him. Wow, these will come in handy. I'll race you there. Keep up with me! Huh. Huh. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I don't have. I will try to repair the device. Yeah. It is done. The Guizhong ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the Treasure Hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. 
And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, Ooh, but you. Him? No. You're open! Freeze! Have a taste of this! Let it rain!
Hurry, guys! This moment will be frozen in time. These little lights didn't know who they were messing with. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> Which means. A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> We won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Cocoa Goat, and review our next step. Good idea! We did our best, and that's what counts! Alright, let's get this treasure chest to put right down here. This close. Alright, I am ending it there for today. I am hungry and I have places to go. But I will be back on tomorrow morning. Probably around the same time as today. And we can continue this quest.